Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we've got a little unboxing for you with this thing right here. So if you've been watching recently, you might have heard me go on about possibly moving house in the near future and not wanting to get any more fish because I was worried about how I would move my entire fish room and all my big tanks and many tanks. So the obvious thing to do was to go and order some more fish, as you do. But anyway, let's dive in. Let's see what we've got. Hopefully I know what we've got, but let's have a look. So I'm hopeful that these are some very healthy Endler guppies to match or to add to the ones I've previously got that I really liked and it seems that you guys really liked as well. So we've got a heat pack, nice and warm still. So these are from Aquadiction, the same guys that I've had them from before. We've got 24 pairs of wild guppies, 12 pairs of blonde blush guppies, three of steak Endlers. Not available anywhere else in the UK, apparently. And some dwarf water lettuce, excellent. So the wild guppies are my absolute favorite. I love these and I wish I hadn't sold quite as many as I did because I've not got any left. I think I've got three left. So having some pairs of them is fantastic. So let's get these out and have a look at them, shall we? Excuse my pathetic dog lying over there with his Lovely pink cone of shame. I don't know what's up with him, but he keeps biting his own leg, so he's going to the vets later, but ignore him from now. So I've got a lovely bag of water lettuce, which I knew I wanted. And we've got some four pairs of wild guppies. Kind of difficult to see them. So we've got four pairs of wild guppies, really well bagged. So we've got a poly box with a bag outside, a bag inside, so this was never going to leak. And it came, I think, sent them yesterday lunchtime, and it was here by lunchtime as well. Three pairs of steak Endlers. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. Stack, steak. I'll have a look at them. They'll be good to see when we get them out into a tank. More wild guppies. They all look fine. more. I'm just going to run through this bit as you can't actually see much through these bags. But all the fish look healthy. Some blonde blush. Blonde blush double sword. So these are all ones that I've already got. You will already see listed on my website. And um, just more stock of them. Absolutely love these blonde blush. Great colours when they colour up properly. More wild guppies. Absolutely love these wild guppies as well. I'm going to be saying that about everything. The wilds, I was really into them. I've only had um, males in the past, so this is the first time I've got males and females, so hopefully I can get some of them breeding. Another four pairs of wilds. And another four pairs of wild. So, so far, all the fish look really healthy. They're all swimming around, fairly well coloured up as well. So let's go and get them into tanks. So we've talked about this before. My unboxing procedure, if you like, is I'll get the fish in the bags and I'll float them in various tanks. Not really bothered which tanks I float them in because they're all roughly the same temperature. Give them a chance to get up to temperature, which in this case shouldn't take long because having measure the temperature of them in the bags, they're only a degree or two out, so leave them in there 20 minutes, half an hour, something like that, and then I'll do the plop and drop method, so that is getting a, a net, holding it over a bucket, pouring the whole bag into the net, and the water into the bucket, and dropping them straight in. I'll not go into again why I don't really care about the pH swings and all those things, it's the ammonia that I'm worried about, being the biggest difference when the oxygen rushes into the bag, I think that can do the most damage, so my Number one concern is getting them into the tank uh, and with the right temperature. So we'll get on with doing that and we'll come back when they're swimming around in the tanks. Right, well, we've got them all in. Uh, everything's, I've moved some things around, so I've freed up some tanks because although they've come from the same supplier, so I've got these from Aquadiction, and um, I'll leave some links in the description. I like to give them a couple of weeks in their own tanks so as I can make sure that there's no adverse effects from shipping or any other problems. 
So I've cleared out this row to give for the new fish so we can take a look at each of them. These are my, I'm going to say these are my favourite to everything now. But these are one of my favourites, the Blonde Blush Double Sword Endler Guppies. Um, I've just got some more of these, I already had some of these, I've sold a good few of these ones. I think they're absolutely fantastic. As I say, they're colouring up really nicely already. And the, I just think the colours in them, I've just never seen anything like it before. Fantastic little fish, dead easy requirements, much like most of the endlers around, they all have very similar requirements. Um, they're good community fish, they work well with other fish, well, the peaceful fish, um, they do really well. These ones here are the steak or stayak, not entirely sure how you say this, um, but these are the ones that are a little bit special, so these are quite rare. Um, the guys at Aqua Addiction, I think they're the only people in the UK that have got these at the moment. So, apart from me now as well. So I've got three pairs in here. Again, dead easy to tell the males and the females apart. The males are smaller, they've got the, the brighter colours. The females are quite drab, usually get larger. Um, but these are very distinct in that they're markings. They have these two circular, almost like eyes, and running along the lateral line of their body. Um, I think these are... The, it's a German, hence the name Steik, or however you say that, I'm not entirely sure how you say it. These were discovered and brought back by, and I think all the ones in them at the moment are all from, all can be traced back to this original pair that were brought out originally. Original pair that was brought out originally. That's an original way to say that sentence. Um, but I will leave some links in the description because Aquadiction have a information page where they've collated all the information that's available on them. You can go and check that out as well. Uh, as well on this level we've got the Tiger Lenders, I've not got any new ones of these so these are just the ones I already had, bleeding like crazy and then we've got the Blue Star Enders in the tank at the back. So the new ones as well are down here and these are the Wild Guppies. These are the ones that I really liked and I, I instantly regretted selling the majority of the ones that I got first. So again really easy to tell the males and the females apart from each other really distinct colorings they're kind of all these neon reds oranges greens and um, great little colors i think for a small aquarium you can't really get better than guppies and endlers uh, for filling out an aquarium like that so as you may have seen i've used some of these stick on sticky tabs as a food um, to help me take some pictures and take some video of them generally they're all kind of herbivores they'll feed a good quality flake so i'll mostly be feeding my bug flake um, that that has done me so far so well and as you can see you've got hundreds of little blighters breeding happily and uh, the majority of these fish in here the guppies are eating the bug flake with occasionally krill flake and occasionally these little sticky pellets all that is available on the website aquariumadventures.co.uk um, if you fancy some of that and trying it out go and check it out Anyway, very excited with all these new fish, so if you're interested, make sure you click that subscribe button. You can see how they develop and how many fry I managed to get out of these guys. Um, and yeah, what an idiot. I've bought more fish just before I want to move house. Anyway, thank you very much for watching so far. If you are interested in this kind of thing, click that subscribe button. You can also click the join button if you want to, as my dog comes in to say hello. Um, and we'll see you on a Friday night for the live chat if you're into that kind of thing too. Bye!